Hello and welcome back. Just take a look at where we're standing at today. Just look around me. All these amazing tanks we're going to take a look at in just a moment. Today we're at a very special store. So this fish store that we're at today is called H2 Aquarium Shop and we're in Tokyo and this is a very special store because the owner of the store has won the IAPLC Planted Aquarium Contest and he's also worked at ADA, Aqua Design Amano, in the past. So he's a very accomplished aquascaper and we're gonna take a look at some of the display tanks they have inside. So let's go and head on inside. So when you walk in, you're just greeted with green everywhere, especially on this left-hand side wall. Just take a look at this. This is Philodendron Papua New Guinea and it's a super popular plant here. It can grow in the water as well as above as you can see right here. It's kind of like pothos except it grows underwater too so really cool and you can see the platies in this tank. Just a really a really simple setup and I don't know I think this is a 60 centimeter cube if I'm not mistaken two foot cube tank. You can see there's a light up above and look at how this plant just wraps around the entire wall. That is super cool. So yeah, these, the racks here, these tanks are all plant, uh, well obviously they're planted tanks, but they're where you can buy your plants and it's so cool because there's descriptions for each one of the plants. So if we take a look up above, look at this, so you've got Bulbitis right here uh, and so many plants I don't know but types of mosses as well and just super unique. Then on this section you've got your stem plants. Just a huge variety of stem plants. Down below too, you've got some more stem plants. Really nice, and I love the platy in this tank. Look at that color. Yeah, that is a really neat looking platy. But if we take a look over here, there's some more plants. We'll take a quick look. There's some easier to care for ferns, as well as anubiuses up top. And then down below, there's phallocinaria, Cypress helferi and some hygrophila types yeah, and stem plants. Check out that orange myriophyllum. It's kind of cool. Down below, really like this setup. So much selection. And there's a cryptocorin spiralis tiger back there. That's pretty unique. You don't see that plant every day. And then over on this section, I really like some of the plants here because it's cryptoporins, my favorite plant. And in here, look at some of the nymphas, the lotus. Super nice. And then there's red ones as well. The tiger lotus, the green variety as well as the red variety. And you can see the leaves up at the surface also. And what's cool is that everything here is for sale. And now I want to take a look at some of the display tanks. From here you can see a glimpse of what they have to offer and it's, it's really really nice. Back over there you've got the selection of fish to choose from and then in like the middle sections you've got all your products. So over here you've got some ADA products. It's a 300 item shop as you can see right here, so got a huge selection of ADA things. And then the plants, tissue culture plants, if you're the tissue culture type of person. And Bucephalandra is over here. You've got floating plants, love how they set this up, super cute. As well as the Wabikusa. That's super cool. And here's the middle section too. Yeah. Really nice, you can see all the tools. Fertilizers as well. Super cool, and they even have plants up here, which is nice. All right, but taking a look at this tank right here, this is the standard 60P aquarium, ADA, and you can also see just 
how nice this looks. Really classic nature style. I love the red guppy in there. You've also got white cloud minnows, amber tetras. I like that they use these fish that like anyone can get. So it's really nice. You've got Hygrophila pinnatifida, Myriophyllum guyana, and the stem plants. What's cool about this tank is check out the stem plants. The water level is slightly low. Got the ADA Aqua Sky RGB on this tank, but check this out. Water Sprite growing out of the water. Super, super nice to see all this immersed growth in this tank. Yeah, and I love the colors. The, the choice of fish in this tank is just perfect because they all really stand out against the greens. Over here, this is kind of cool because it's two 30 centimeter cube aquariums put together and it kind of makes it look like one 60 centimeter aquarium. But both tanks are very unique uh, because you can see this one here is like, I don't know what you call this, like just a cryptoporin tank. You've got a lotus in there, but look at the color difference. You've got dark and then you've got bright over here. And it's so cool. I, I really like this one. It just looks really jungly and kind of like almost biotope style and over here you can just see the lightness and color just becomes super bright really cool tank and then next to that you've got another 60p aquarium but this one has just been set up so you can see the plants that's how they plant the plants in it looks to be Cuba HC Cuba and you've also got some Cryptochlorins underneath the driftwood and uh, in all the little cracks. Then on the driftwood, you've got Microsorum. It looks like the narrow leaf variety. And then in the back, just a bunch of stem plants. So, yeah. Really cool. And it looks like it's just been set up because I don't even see the filter running on this tank yet. So, it'll be cool to see what this tank looks like in the future. Over here, here's a big tank. This is a four foot tank and it's two foot from top to bottom. So pretty tall tank. And check out that immersed growth back there as well as all the floating plants. Really cool. And just again, another uh, community fish tank. You've got guramis, rainbow fish, tetras of all sorts and barbs as well so super super cool to see how healthy all these tanks are and just how how they can run for the long term this tank right here this is the opposite of a contest tank this is a tank that you keep for many years just let it grow crazy and yeah this is another style as well so you can have this style or you can have the contest style which you escape and then rescape and yeah it's whatever you enjoy doing, so it's all up to you. Next to that, another 60p aquarium. I think 60p is like maybe the f favorite size of the store. But just look at those Mickey Mouse platies. I really like the fish selection that this store chooses for their tanks. Because it's so unique, so simple, but so, so unique. It just, it really stands out, catches your eye, catches your attention. And all right, so let's take a look over here. We'll start off with this one. This looks like a 45 centimeter cube with mollies and platies in it. And easy to care for plants. Anubias, you've got some crypts. Uh, and some, I'm not too sure, it looks like Hygrophila polysperma, which is a super easy stem plant. It'll grow without CO2 as well, so yeah, really, really nice. And then if we move on over here, check out this tank. This is a 90p aquarium, 90 centimeter, three foot tank, 
and just look at how nice this tank looks. All the colors of those fish, all the reds, the oranges, the blues, the blacks. Wow, just looks so amazing against the green colors. And check this out. We'll take a closer look, but I really love this use of driftwood. It looks like it's kind of connecting this one entire piece. I don't think it's one piece, but it really looks like it. And yeah, if you look really closely, you can see all the way back. I think right now it's a little bit overgrown, but during the contest picture, I think there was like a path that went all the way behind. So that's pretty cool. But take a look at this plant right here. Do you guys know what plant that is? Because that is one special, super unique plant. It's called Ludwigia sedoides, if, if I'm pronouncing that correct. Uh, but yeah, that is really, really cool. Yeah, just everything about this tank, I really like. The Blixa japonica back there. You can see the CO2 running. Cryptocorins in the midground, And a Micranthema Monte Carlo. Uh, carpet and then you've got some tenalis mixed in it looks like yeah and lots of ferns in this tank really neat this is also you can call this a community planted aquarium but maybe a high-tech community planted aquarium is what you'd call this and now let's move on to this tank right here. This is a 120p aquarium and it's super super nice. This is my favorite tank in the store and it's the tank that the owner uses to enter into the contest and this year he ranked 40 something. I'm not entirely sure I'll put it up on the screen but he always ranks super high in the contest and it just shows you how accomplished as an aquascaper he is. Um, just always getting in the top 100 he, he knows how to aquascape, he knows how to keep plants healthy. He's basically just a professional aquascaper. This is what he does for his job. He goes and set up tanks for customers and maintains them as well. So, yeah, you can see why he ranks really high in the contest and just super amazing. Three years ago, he ranked first place. He, he was the champion of the IPLC competition. And I'm super happy that I got to come over to his store and see this tank in person because three years ago is actually when I wanted to come, when he won the contest. And I really wanted to see that tank, but at that time I was unable to come here, so. And then the year after he won, he, I think he received ninth place, so a top 10 ranking. And that was another tank that I really, really liked but yeah this tank is also amazing you can just see the amount of plants that he used in here let's go and take a closer look at some of them you can just see this cryptocorn wenty green a nice platinum angel fish right there and i love the carpet you've got a mixture of hc cuba as well as tenalus and you can see how it's turning all red super nice and check out all the moss the moss just looks so cool in this tank. Yeah. And then another type of cryptocorn. I think that might be Wenty Brown, if I'm not mistaken. And all the Bulbitis. Bulbitis in here. This tank used Microsorum Trident. So, yeah. Both really cool. This one has a like a brighter feeling. And this one has a more, like, what do you call it? Like a jungly, neutral, green, dark green feeling, so. You can also see Ludwigia arcuata. As well as a bunch of Rotalas in this tank. And the fish selection is really nice as well. You can see the denison barbs. And some species of Japanese fish. I think that might be called the bitterling. Something bitterling. We'll take a quick look at some of the fish they have to offer. A lot of common fish in this store. So really great for beginners, someone getting into this hobby. You can see guppies, endlers in this tank. Platies, the silver tip uh, tetra. Super cool, you can see how active they are. 
as well as glow light tetras in there so and you can see they've got plants in the tanks almost all of them and something I really like about this store is that they used they painted the racks green color the first time I saw this I, I was kind of shocked but it really really made me want to paint my racks at home green color uh, because it just brings in another sense of nature to your home or to your store I guess in this case but it just looks so unique I've never seen anyone paint their racks green before and yeah I, I really really like this let me know what you guys think about the green color stands and they've also got ones that are painted brown like this but the green ones are really really nice So those are just some of the fish they had in the store. Next to that, you've got the, some filtration canister filters for your planted aquariums. And then the food selection. A good selection of food at the store. Lots of Hikari products. And over here, this is quite cool. Check out this terrarium. Really, really nice. super natural so if you don't want to have water in your home you can just have something like this just like a mini jungle mini forest and I think it's also easier to maintain because you're not playing around with water you don't have to spill water all over the floor and stuff so yeah just trim some leaves and plant some stuff and that's basically having fun with this I and I really want to have a terrarium someday it just looks like so much fun you get to grow different types of plants and i want to do it with like cryptocorins and some of the aquatic plants that can grow immersed i think that'll be pretty fun yeah and then here you've got some bettas check out this guy and I really like how they set up their betta tanks here because you can see it's a very small tank but they put lots of plants in it and they've even got a filter in there so that's really really neat and yeah the bettas they look really healthy so that's really good to see and over here there's some shrimp and you can just see cherry shrimp in here some pretty nice looking shrimp for sure and also clown Killy fish or the rocket killy is that what you call it and in Japanese we call them the clown killy so and then you've got the orange shrimp down below there's some rams take a look at that guy and some electric blues as well but yeah really nice nice setup here I will put links to this store in the description down below so if you ever have the chance or if you ever visit Tokyo you gotta come to this store and check out some of their contest aquariums because it's really cool to see them in person but as always I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss stuff like this and I'll see you guys next time